Welcome to the gym. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate uh, this expression with a rational exponent. In this case, we have a negative rational exponent in the denominator. So it's important for us to remember our rules of exponents. And remember rules of exponents, if we have x to the negative n, then to rewrite that as a positive exponent, we write that as x, or 1 over x to the n. And in the similar case, if I have x to the negative n, to rewrite that as a positive exponent, I'm just going to write that as x to the n. Now, of course, those are using some variables. Now we got some real numbers, right? Well, all we're simply going to do is I can say this is now 81 to the positive 3 fourths, as I just rewrite that um, in the numerator, not under 1. Now, to simplify this, or to evaluate it, what we need to do is be able to determine, all right, how can I rewrite 81 as a you know, as an exponent, as a power raised to a base. And the most common way that students are going to look at that is say 81, oh, that's 9 squared. I understand that one. But if I rewrite that as 9 squared, and then I raise that to the 3 fourths power, then I'm simply, when I use my rules of exponents of multiplying, right, whenever you raise a, an exponent to another exponent, you get 9 to the 6 fourths power, or 9 to the 3 halves. Which again is not really making my not really making the problem any easier. So I want to be able to determine: Is there any other way that I could rewrite uh, my exponent? Um, and particularly, is there any way I can rewrite it to the power of four? Because if when we apply our multi when we apply our exponents, right? Um, basically, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to cancel out this denominator if possible. And that actually is the case. I can rewrite 81 as three to the fourth power. Because 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. So 3 to the fourth power is 81. But now, when I use my rules of exponents, I have 3 to the 4 over 1 times 3 over 4. Those cancel out, so I'm left with, or divide to 1, so I'm left with 3 cubed, which we all know is going to be 27. Or we all know now it's equal to 27. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate with your rational exponent. Thanks.